Now, let's uh, bring you this story. As you can see at the bottom of your screens, we have a breaking news story this hour, and that regards the Yachersfontein uh, Dam collapse. We understand the community there has appointed a legal firm, a firm of attorneys, to sue the company that owns the mine to which that uh, dam belonged to, that burst killing one person, and uh, more than 80 being hospitalized, and hundreds of others had to be displaced, have been left homeless by the mud, uh, that, uh, the sludge that uh, burst out of that dam. We're going to try and get hold of the lawyer representing the Yachrosfontein community. That's Mr. Andres Nkome some time this hour to get a sense of what their suit is going to be all about. So stay, stay tuned uh, for that. But for now, let's focus on this story. Parliament has appointed three people to form a panel that will investigate President Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa's Palapala farm robbery. Former Chief Justice Sandy Lengobo, former Gauteng High Court Judge Togo Zile Masipa, and Associate Public, uh, Professor of Public Law, the University of Cape Town, Richard Calland. National Assembly Speaker Nosiviwe Mapisa Ngakula has chosen the three from a 17-person nomination list. Parliament says the investigation will begin in due course. Now, let's get some analysis now with author and political analyst Dr. Ibrahim Harvey. Ibrahim, good afternoon. Welcome to today. Thank you very much for your time here this afternoon on ENC. First up, just an overriding question. Your view generally, your reaction when you heard the news about this finally is a three-person panel that will assist Parliament to decide whether or not it can proceed to with an impeachment, uh, a possible impeachment process against the President. Uh, what, what, was, what was your reaction? Uh, thanks, Dan. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, uh, I, I was happy. I was impressed. Uh, all three of the people on that ch panel uh, who were selected by the, uh, by the speaker, uh, I, I, I think is going to do a good job. In fact, I want to go further and say because it is those three people, I think they have a solid sense and perspective of justice and there is little doubt that I have, uh, Dan, and this is my concern. I think the likelihood, if not probability, is that they're going to conclude after the investigations that indeed Ramaphosa, there's a prima facie case to answer. This is the big worry, uh, 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 Dan, and what that will lead to. Number yes. one... Before the we get there, sorry, 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 Ibrahim, before we get to what is yep. likely to unfold, just want to remind our viewers right. in terms of the process that these three were selected from a, a list of 17 persons nominated by political parties in, in, in Parliament, uh, all of them. And the process in, means that the date on which they will begin their work has not yet been announced uh, because there's some administrative processes that must take place. But after they start, according to what we knew earlier, they'll be given 30 days within which to come up with a possible uh, solution going forward. And just touching on that, what do you think is likely to come out of them? There is no doubt, Dan. You know, I've been so many pieces about this. I did a lead piece for Sunday Times three months ago. There is, you know, as much as I think in the final analysis, even despite this matter, I think relatively still the best candidate, and hopefully this thing doesn't lead to an impeachment yeah. and effect for re-election. But no doubt I'm happy uh, with the panel and I can tell you the likelihood, if not probability, that they will find, they will find that indeed there is a prima facie case to answer. All three of them, I think it will be a unanimous, I may be wrong, but I think it will be a unanimous decision by these three panelists that indeed Ramaphosa as a case to answer. And you know the implications of that, Dan. Yeah, the we'll NBA... talk. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about okay. the implications just now, Dr. Doc, doc, sorry to cut in there. I just want to make our okay. viewers understand who are these panelists that you are so confident about that they will come to a possible, that possible decision. We don't know, but that is your sense. That's your view. We respect that. We've got Judge Togo Zile Masipa. She's 74 years old, and she's a former judge of the Gauteng Division of the High Court of South Africa. Many South Africans would remember her as the presiding judge in the Oscar Pistorius murder trial. And then we 
we've got uh, former Chief Justice. He was a Chief Justice for two years, 2009 to 2011, but he had a long, illustrious uh, uh, stay on the bench there as a Justice from 1999, Justice Sandile, Sandile Ngobo. And we've got then Professor uh, Richard Culland, Associate Professor of Public Law at the University of Cape Town. We know his role right from pre-democracy days in contributing to a democratic South Africa in terms of the laws of this country. Now that's a panel that you've got one female, you've got two guys, one black, one white. I think they considered all of those of those things. Now, you seem to be confident yes. that they will find in 30 days that there is a, there is a prima facie case uh, for President Ramaphosa to, to, to answer to. If they do that, what are the implications? Well, there are several implications. Number one, the, the NPA, you know, it has dragged its feet, you know, to me quite deliberately because I think they are afraid of the implications. It's massive, you know, if they had to prefer charges and they haven't. Now with this panel being set up, and for me, the likelihood that there will be a prima facie case, they will conclude that he's got to answer. It will mean the Integrity Commission, you must remember, he's refused to even speak to the Integrity Commission of the ANC. He virtually said nothing to them. He told Parliament nothing, and you can see never before, Dan, as the opposition party has been united on a matter like they have with Ramaphosa. There's no doubt, man, you know, you don't need to have a lawyer. There's a case to answer. If you look at the, the charges that were laid, you know, there's certainly a case to answer. No doubt about it. And that's why I said, you know, but furthermore, with those three uh, in the, uh, the, on the panel, I'm really confident that uh, Ramaphosa is going to have to face the music, so to say, and answer. You certainly cannot. This is Section 89 of the Constitution kicking in. It's not what he could do before. Yeah, he is compelled to, to cooperate with that panel, you see, and uh, engage with the issues which he has refused to do, uh, Dan. You know, I think much to his, uh, it's not going to work on his favor. I think it's counting, uh, going to count against him. But that is how he played his cards. Even to the ANC's Integrity Commission, he refused to say anything to Parliament, to the journalists, to everybody. Now, the, the, the rubber is going to hit the tarmac now. He's going to have to speak to the issues and these charges that uh, the former spy boss, uh, Arthur Fraser, has laid. There's no yeah. doubt. Now, we've reached that point, uh, Dan. There is no more twists and turns and equivocation. Ramaphosa has to now come very clear on what happened at the farm. We'll have to wait now and see when this panel will start its work and they'll have a month to conclude uh, their process in advising Parliament on the way forward. Thank you very much for your time and insights this afternoon on today. That's Dr. Ibrahim Harvey, an author and political analyst. In the statement from the Speaker of the National Assembly in terms of this Palapala Pala panel, uh, she says that uh, the panel will commence its work on a date uh, to be determined following the conclusion of administrative processes, the date will be announced in what they n call the announcements, tablings and committee reports, ATC publication that's in Parliament. We're all waiting to see and whether or not what uh, Dr. Ibrahim Avi there is, is, is predicting will actually do happen. We've got that panel of those three uh, individuals. Now,